morning everyone and welcome to back to our English lesson. So what are we going to be learning today? We are going to be drafting, writing our superhero story. So we're going to follow our plans. We're going to add more detail to our plan so it's interesting for someone to read. And we're going to use some interesting vocabulary, some different words to make the story exciting. You're going to need your plan from last week. So if you haven't got it already, go and find it. So before we think about our writing, I want you to remind yourself of a few things. So I want you to find your description of your hero that you made up last week and your villain and have a read through them just so you can remember what kind of characters they're going to be, what kind of things they get up to. And then when you've done that, I want you to have a read through your plan from Friday. Think about what's going to happen in your story how you could add more information because last week was just a plan today is the real thing and then i want you to think about what kind of interesting words could you include in your story to make it exciting so you could pinch a few from the super potato story but you could have a think what kind of superhero words are you going to need can you get a bit more alliteration in like we did last week with our character names so hopefully you've read through everything from last week now and we're going to start thinking about doing some writing so we're going to use our plan like I've already said we're not going to think of a whole load of new ideas today we need to use our ideas from Friday's lesson and because on Friday we only wrote a plan we just did a couple of ideas and we need to think right how can I turn those into a proper story we need to make some interesting word choices and we're going to have to join some of our ideas together using conjunctions words like because words like when if that kind of thing and this is really important in a lot of work that i've been sent so many of you are using and and that's great but some of you are using it instead of a full stop and then this and this and that and blah, 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 and 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 so we need to make sure that we're thinking about where to put full stops at the end of a sentence. If you've got more than two ands in a sentence, you've definitely got too many. So we need to think about that today. So on this slide, this is my work from Friday. This is the plan that I wrote last week. But at the moment, you can see it's not a story. We've got the super potato ideas on one side and we've got my ideas for the story on the other side. But it's not like reading a book, is it? It's not like a bedtime story that you might enjoy. It's just, just lots of my ideas. And if someone who didn't know what we've been doing read this, they probably wouldn't really understand what I'd done. So this is why we need to think about adding more into our plans. We can't just write our plan out in our best handwriting. We've got to add more to it to make it into a proper story. So on the next few slides, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just looking at the first part of my story, the first box. So in my plan, I said silent supermarket, a trolley rolling down the vegetable aisle, a funny squeaking noise near the exotic fruit. So now I need to make that into an opening for my story. I need to make it exciting so that people want to read it. So I've got those ideas and I had a think and I've added a bit extra in. So I have put it was night time in the supermarket and all the aisles were empty and silent. So I've added a bit more to my silent idea. However, a squeaky trolley was rolling down the vegetable aisle all by itself. So you can see I've still got the vegetable aisle, I've still got the trolley, but I've added an adjective to say it was a squeaky trolley. And I've added in as well, it was rolling all by itself. If you listened really carefully, it wasn't silent. A strange muffled sound was coming from near the exotic fruit. So in my plan, I said it was a funny squeaking noise, but I decided today I wanted to change it. I put a strange muffled sound instead. You'll see that I haven't joined lots of sentences together with lots of ands. I've just used one in the first sentence. And then I've used some different conjunctions, which I've put in red, however, and if to start two different sentences. So this is the next box on my plan. I've covered all the ideas in that first box. So now I can go into the second box. So in my plan, I said pineapple's hair is chopped off, squash grapes, grated cheese sprinkled on the floor, sinister sprout locks the vegetable freezer. So it was perky pineapple. So I've added an adjective to that pineapple. Someone or something had chopped off 
all his spiky green leaves, so I've put a noun phrase in there. On the floor, a bunch of grapes lay squashed and flat. So I've added the word flat in there as well. And I've thought, oh, I'll start that sentence in a different way to make it a bit more interesting. Meanwhile, another conjunction, that just means at the same time, someone had locked the tall freezer full of peas and grated cheddar cheese all over the floor. Who would do such evil things? So I've got a question in there like we did in our villain description. So you can see I haven't put lots of ands in. I've got some full stops to break up my sentences and I've added more details. There was only one vegetable who could be this terrible and that was Sinister Sprout. So you can see my ideas I've made much longer and added more details to make it more exciting. So this is the next box and this could really easily just become a list of what's happened. So I've tried to make it a bit more interesting. Sassy Strawberry to the rescue. Sassy Strawberry loves to help fruit in distress. So she brought her special super juice glue. She glued Perky Pineapple's hair together carefully, then used her super stretch to stretch the grapes back to the right shape. She leapt over to the freezer aisle to see the chaos there. Sassy Strawberry used her super speed to sweep up the grated cheese, then used her magnificent mind power to unlock the freezer. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw a green blob. Could it be Sinister Sprout? It vanished down the pet food aisle, so she followed it. So you can see I've tried to add more information to make it a bit exciting to show how Sassy Strawberry would rescue all those fruits and vegetables. So I've just done the first three boxes of my plan to show you what I was thinking. What you need to do now is you need to do that for each box on your plan for all of the boxes. You don't need to read my whole story. It's time for you to get right in yours because I'm really looking forward to reading them. So there is, should be some paper with superheroes on in the pack or you can write just on a piece of paper you've got at home. You need to follow your plan box by box and add extra information like I've done. Tell me what happens on the sheet in the pack. There are there is a word bank that you can use and it's got some superhero words and it's got some conjunctions as well that you could use. You don't have to use these words, but they're there to help you if you need them. And these words as well, like rescue, which can be quite tricky to spell. So they're there to help you with the spelling as well. So once you've finished your story, you can email it to us. Remember, if you want to write most of it and then do a bit more later on, have a little break, then you can do. That's absolutely fine. But I know Mrs Lee and I are both really looking forward to reading these stories, looking forward to all these amazing word choices that you're going to make and looking forward to not seeing too many ands in your sentences. So I hope you really enjoy writing these stories and we will see you later. <laughs>